Today on Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Alps Outdoors Grand Slam Turkey Vest. This is Robbie with Review This Thing. And you may have seen Adrian's review of the tethered M2 turkey vest a few weeks ago. Well, last year, I went and got myself a new turkey vest also. A good friend of mine highly recommended this one, and Alps Outdoors was kind enough to send us over one to try. I took it on a multi-day hunt in the Black Hills of South Dakota and put it through the ringer. So I'm ready to tell you what I think. Let's review this thing. You know we're gonna give you the facts, and the first thing is fit. The Grand Slam Turkey Vest comes in a standard, which says it fits up to a 48 inch waist, and extra large, which fits above 48 inch waist. I'm 5'10 and about 180 pounds, so I went with the standard size. It has several straps for adjustability, two on each side near the back, two across your stomach, and one across your chest. And the cool thing is you can also adjust the shoulder straps and it brings the front of the vest up or down depending on how you want it. With all that adjustability, it fits me the way I want it to. I can't get it much tighter than this, but I like having a little extra room and don't want it really tight, especially during early season when I'm wearing a few extra layers. But I would think if you're much smaller than me, it would probably be a little bit too big for you. But if you're bigger than me, you can see lots of room for adjustment in the extra strap material, so you should be able to get it to fit you well also. Plus, there's that extra large option as well. With the frame, it does weigh just over seven pounds, but I never felt like it was too heavy. Overall, I really like the way it fits me, and I feel like it would fit a wide range of people. However, I'm gonna knock just a little bit off. For anybody smaller than me, it's probably gonna be too big, and I'm gonna give fit a 4.85 out of five. And now is the Alps Grand Slam Turkey Vest as advertised. The main thing that Alps advertises is that it's the most comfortable vest for long sits. I haven't tested all the turkey vests out there, but as far as the ones I have, this one is definitely the most comfortable. I've been in all kinds of situations where I didn't have a tree to sit up against while waiting on a turkey. And if you've been there, your hips and core can get really tired trying to hold yourself up. Well, that's where this vest and its sit anywhere kickstand frame comes in handy. You just pop those legs back and lean back and you've got something to rest on. And it's designed to be very comfortable. Each leg independently adjusts so that you should be able to get it to fit whatever terrain you're sitting in. The swivel platform-like feet keep you from sinking into the ground. And the memory foam seat has a good thickness, so it's really comfortable. And it has magnets and or buckle straps to keep it up out of the way whenever you're not using it. I found it so comfortable, in fact, one day while we were taking a break in the middle of the morning, I plopped down in the woods, leaned back, and actually fell asleep right there in the middle of the woods. I feel like it does what Alp says it should, so we're gonna give, as advertised, a five out of five. Now, on to construction and durability. I do wanna point out that the kickstand frame is removable, so if you know you're not gonna be sitting for a long time, or if you're going to a hunting blind, you can remove it and still use the vest. Or if you know you're always gonna have a good tree to lean back against, you may wanna take it out. Especially if you're on a steep slope, I found that it was really hard to get right up next to the tree because the feet would kind of dig into the side of the tree just a little bit. I had to sit a little bit further away from the tree than I really wanted to. This vest has pockets everywhere. Each side has a pretty deep pocket on top that closes with a zipper, as well as large zipper pockets on the inside. On the right side, there's a box call pocket with fabric inside to keep your call silent and a large pocket with shell loops and a see-through smartphone sleeve so you can use your phone while it's in the pocket. But one negative about it is my phone is in an OtterBox case and I couldn't actually fit it in that sleeve. On the left are two slate or glass call pockets and a large pocket for your strikers or locator calls. The only downside is that those pockets are pretty specific, so if you don't have that type of call, that pocket may be a little less useful or that may be a good enough excuse to go buy a new call. There's also a water bottle type pocket on each side. And I told you that we would come back around to those straps on the sides. They actually go right over top of that water bottle holder. So if you have to cinch them up tight to get a better fit, now you can't fit your water bottle down in there. And I'm a big fan of the largest pocket of all. It's a bird bag, mainly because it's big enough to fit your bird whenever you kill one or a great place to store extra layers and your rain jacket. Also, so you won't miss it, there's a water bladder pocket back there too. I will say, it carries a lot like a frame pack, which was comfortable for me, but some people may say it's a little bit too rigid for them to carry. 
As far as durability goes, I just got it at the end of last season, so I can't really speak to long-term durability, but I can say I'm not easy on any of my hunting gear, and it's held up so far. Based on all the different pockets, the large spot to store extra layers or rain jackets, and being able to take the frame out if you need to, but taking a little bit off because the feet didn't allow me to get right up against some of the trees, I'm gonna give construction and durability a 4.85 out of five. Now, on to testimonials and reviews. Overall, the Grand Slam vest gets really good reviews, but there were just a few complaints. One complaint I saw several times is that the leg clamp is plastic and it either didn't hold the leg in place or it broke too easily. Thankfully, I haven't had that problem, but like I said, I just got it towards the end of last season. We're getting ready to put it through the paces coming up this season and I hope it doesn't break. And someone else said that the legs kept getting in the way or catching on everything. The legs are just a little bit wider than I am, so I had to be careful when I was going next to a tree and I hit it on trees several different times, but it never really got in the way for me. Another very common complaint was that the seat magnets weren't strong enough to hold the seat in place. The cool thing about this seat is that it does have buckles also, so if it's not staying in place for you, you can buckle it. Just kind of a little awkward how you have to reach to unbuckle it. Another person said that the diaphragm call holder didn't stay shut. I haven't used it because I found this from Bendable that I absolutely love. One person said that the seams busted on it, and another one said that it's too heavy, too bulky, and too hot. It is warmer than wearing a backpack because you have fabric in front, but having everything where you can easily get to it is a convenient trade-off, I guess. I also haven't used it in super hot weather, so we'll see if it gets warmer this spring. As far as testimonials and reviews, you know what we're going to do. We're going to give you the score that we found, and that score was a 4.8 out of 5. This is the part that you stuck around for. Should I buy this thing? You know the deal. It depends on what you're looking for. Adrian would say no because it's too big and too bulky for her and she likes her vest to fit really tight. Obviously she's smaller than me so she's not going to get it to fit as tight as she wants. And if you're smaller than me and looking for that tight fit, this vest probably isn't for you also. If you do most of your turkey hunting from a blind or you know the tree you're always going to sit against, then this vest probably isn't for you either. But if you may be in open terrain or a field edge and maybe not always have that perfect tree prop, then this vest might be for you. It may not be the answer for every situation, but I know I sure found it comfortable hunting last year and I'm looking forward to hunting in it more this year. Now the MSRP of this vest is $199, but I have seen it as low as $169, depending on where you find it at and which camo pattern you want. So for should I buy this thing, because it fits me, it has lots of pockets and I was easily able to take a nap in the middle of the woods, I'm gonna give the Alps Outdoors Grand Slam Turkey Vest a 4.9 out of five. Thanks for watching our Alps Outdoors Grand Slam Turkey Vest review video. While you're here, go ahead and click that like button, comment, and tell us what you think, and subscribe. Also, go check out our website, ReviewThisThingTV.com, and subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss out on any more awesome content. Check out our Amazon store, Holler store, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, and go wild.